good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? Fine, right, thank you. Hey, that's good. Excellent. How was the weekend? Uh, very nice. Very nice. In family. In family, that's good. That's, that's excellent, right? All right. Okay, good. How many people do we have now? Nine people. All right. Okay, but let's get started because we have a lot of work today in two different topics. Okay, here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chris Canales, would you please do me a favor and read the objective here? Yes. Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Okay, things that people hate to do. All right, so let's see. What are some of those things that people hate to do? Okay. Hi everyone, this class will learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this. Seven. Okay, before we do that, okay, I want you to take a look at the standing line. So these are phrases of things, okay, people hate to do, okay? Or at least they don't like. For example, people hate to stand in line, right? For example, the when you go to the, nowadays, these days, it's more complicated, right? Because you have to do, you, know, you have to stand in line uh, in all the places. You go to the supermarket, you stand in line. And you stand in line to get in and you stand in line to pay. Right? Uh, do laundry. Not all the people like to do laundry. Okay, you know, to, to wash the clothes. Uh, travel to work. Okay, not many people. People hate to travel to work, especially if it is uh, by bus, right? It's more complicated. Uh, also, people hate to go to meetings, right? So when you go to a meeting, you know, people talk and talk and talk and speak and speak many things and sometimes, you know, they, it's boring. Uh, do exercise. Some people don't like to exercise. Uh, work in the yard. Okay, some people hate to work in the yard. They say now working in the yard is horrible. Uh, clean the house and open the mail. Well, now it's here is in paper, but before it was, but now it's in the computer. Okay, but before you have to open letters and read them, papers and papers and papers. Okay, good. Now listen, let's continue. Clean the house. Eight. Open the mail. Now. I would like for you to practice this vocabulary 
by describing if you do this thing or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, you also like to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, here there is a little mistake. I don't have to clean the house, okay? You omit to do, okay? In this case, yes, I have to do laundry. Aquí si se usa porque es hacer la, la lavandería, something like that, right? But here is it, I have to clean. So, okay, laundry no se ocupa como verbo. Clean, sí. Say I have to, or I don't have to clean the house. Questions in this moment, people? No? Ready for the exam? Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, very nice. So uh, here, I wrote some questions. I say, I hate open the mail. It's exhausting, but I have to do it. Then I wrote some questions here. Let's put the ones. For example, you said, uh, uh, what do you have to do at home? I have to wash my clothes, but I hate it. Okay, what is something that you have to do at home, but you hate it? Anything. I have to clean the house, I have to make my bed, I have to cook my lunch, I have, I don't know. Something that you have to do, pero que lo detesta, que no le gusta hacer. Okay? Examples. Wash the dishes. Okay, then you say, I have to wash the dishes, but I hate it. Okay? I have to do the, I have to wash the dishes, but I hate it. Good. One more. Okay. I have to wash the dishes or do the dishes, right? But I hate it. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Another one. Gabriela? I have to clean, clean the chicken. I have to, uh -huh, I have to clean the kitchen. Okay. But, but I hate it. Okay. I had, I had to clean the bathroom, but I hate it. <laughs> yes. Okay, I have to clean the bathroom uh -huh, but i hate it okay so you see these are like you know like obligations or things that we have to right that we have to do that okay we we hate it but anyways there is no choice okay so here you have other examples uh, another one that you can see. What else could it be? I. What do we have to do at work? For example, I have to write daily reports, and I hate that. Okay, I hate that. Okay, I have to write daily reports, and I hate that. show you this one okay look at this okay frases ya hechas hate it when i hate it when people cry 
detesto cuando la gente llora. Okay? I hate it when people cry. ¿Qué otros ejemplos me pueden dar? I hate it when dogs bark. Cuando los perros ladran. Right? What else? What else? Come on, come on. Volunteers. Hey, Dinora. I hate it when. Give me an example. Teacher. Yes, Luis. I hate it when. The primero, the primero. No, no, no. Yo estaba pensando. Okay, go ahead. Ya pensaron hoy, díganos. Okay, Gabriela, yes. I hate it when the people. Um, pero no sé, es que no sé cómo dice. Tira la basura a la calle. ¿Cómo dice? Throw, throw garbage in the street. I hate it when people throw garbage. In the street. Garbage in the street. Throw, uh, throw, throw. Throw? Throw. Throw. Uh -huh. Throw garbage in the street. Okay. When they litter, right? Okay. Uh, uh, Luis? I hate when the neighbors make no noise. I hate it when neighbor when my neighbors make noise okay uh -huh. i hate it when my neighbors make noise very good yes who else hey, i hate it when kids scream <laughs> okay i hate it when kids when children scream yes it's very very noisy Okay, what else? Eh, cuando, ¿cómo se, cómo, bueno, ¿cómo se dice cuando no levantan el, el popó del perro? When people don't clean, okay, the dogs poo, right? Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Yes, I hate it when people don't clean, don't clean the dogs poo. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay. Good, good. Who else? Another one. Practice your vocabulary. Uh, question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ¿Cómo se puede decir cuando alguien le apesta el ala? <laughs> when, but what is the sentence? I hate it when, I hate it when people, when people stink, when la gente... Pero es algo pesadita la oración, ¿no? Right? People... Uh, dele, dele, yes, dele, I, así se la I puedo decir a alguien. <laughs> I hate it when people stink. When people no. stink. O oh, when people's armpit... Arm, people's armpit stink. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. But, what else? What else, what else? I hate traffic. I hate traffic. Okay, esa ya es otra estructura, pero está bien. I hate traffic. Something. Say, I hate anyone. I hate anything. I hate. Good. All right, Alfredo. Uh, okay. I hate when they mistreat animal. Okay, I hate when people. Okay, mistreat, when people mistreat animals. Mistreat animals. Animals, uh -huh. Okay, mistreat animals. Yes, good. What else? Uh, no, let's see, Veronica. Okay, Esther. 
teacher. Yes. Go ahead. Pero, uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Este, I, I hate it. ¿Cómo puedo decir que odio las ratas? I hate I hate rats. Ahí no es cuembe. I hate rats. No, ahí no es cuembe. Ahí es. I hate rats. rats. I hate rats. Uh -huh. okay. I hate. I hate rats. I hate. Yes. Okay. Good. I hate waiting. I hate waiting. Okay. I hate hate waiting. Okay. That's good. One more. Uh, sorry, ¿qué es waiting? <laughs> eh, wait, <laughs> wait. Ah, okay. Wait. Uh -huh. okay. Waiting. I hate waiting. Odio esperar. Uh, right. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. You say I hate waiting. Okay, what else? Like this uh, one, let me see. Uh, I hate, I hate okay. when I see people without... Uh, mask. I hate when I see. Pe I hate it when I see people without a surgical mask. Mm -hmm. Surgical mask because the mascara la otra solo es mask. Solo para toda la cara, right? The Halloween. Okay, surgical mask. What else? I, uh, I, I hate when people lie. I hate it when people lie. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. I hate the politicians. I hate politicians, okay? Yes, that's, I hate politicians. Okay, that's, you know, you go like this one. This is similar to this. I hate, let's connect, let's connect here. So I hate politicians. I hate Mondays. I hate uh, you know, Monday mornings. I hate the way she always criticizes me. Uh -huh. I hate cockroaches very much. <laughs> I hate cockroaches or roaches. Uh, okay. I hate roaches. Roaches. Uh -huh. Very much roaches, the cockroach. Uh, okay. Okay, oh. thank you. Okay. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, yeah, otro sería, I hate at the people hypocrisy. Um, no, no está bien dicho. No. So, sorry, I hate people. And the opposite, uh, hypocrisy. Oh, okay, no. I hypocrite. Uh -huh. I hate hypocrite people. H hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hypocrite people. Yes. Okay. What else? I hate disorder. Disorder. I hate disorder. Disorder. I I hate the mess. The mess. I hate the mess. 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 Disorder. Mess, yes. yes, mess, mess, mess. Uh -huh. okay, okay, the mess, M S M A S S M E S S. Thank you, teacher. Okay, what else? What else? I hate when when it's dirty. I hate when it's dirty. Dirty. Uh -huh. I hate it when it's dirty. Yes. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. What else? One more. I hate lies, teacher. I hate lies. Yes, I hate lies. You can also say I hate lies, lies, you know, mentiras, and I hate flies. I odio las moscas. Flies, lies, all these things, okay? So you see these are different things that sometimes we hate. So we have like, want, like, love, hate, and think. So these are words that are very commonly used. I hate to say it, but I don't think their marriage will last. Very common uh, expressions in English, okay, that we can use. Okay, questions? All right, just let me.
find the other one. Uh, question. Uh, yes. Como se dice que odio levantarme temprano. I hate get, yeah. uh, getting up early. Early. I, uh -huh, I hate it. I hate like this one. Okay, here. I hate coming home late. I, I hate, hate coming late. Home late. I hate getting up early. I hate, hate getting up early. Aquí solo sustituyen. Okay. I hate having dinner late. Odio cenar tarde, right? Uh, I hate uh, sleeping for more than eight hours. Okay. Oh, I hate, I hate, uh, let's see, sleeping. Uh, no, I, this one, I, I'm going to give an example like this. I hate it when I can't sleep. Yes? Okay. Sometimes happens, right? Sometimes we have that problem. Okay, very good. Then, this is, I hate it when. Now remember this because we're going to use that one also for the next one, which is in past tense. And we are going to use when we practice the simple past form of the verbs here. Okay, let's, let's see here. Uh, uh, Ceci, could you please read this objective here? Okay, uh, Sara, can you please read the, the objective? By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative sentences. In the simple past, using regular verbs, additional, you practice a conversation with illustration. Illustrates, how illustrates illustrate how this topic is used in the real life sentence. Setting. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now we're going to see the past tense, but look. Eh, vamos a ir por partes. Okay, in this part we're going to see affirmative and negative sentences. Okay, after we're going to see the questions and other forms, right? But at this moment, positive and negative statements. Okay, here. Hi everyone, in this class we learn for positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular words. Additionally, you'll practice a Disculpe, teacher, no se oye. this topic is used in a real life setting. Again? You hear it? No. Yes, teacher. That way, yes, here, Tom. Yes, just, uh, well, that's the maximum. Here we Simple go. pass using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, now, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes teacher. teacher, thank you. All right. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I Didn't Study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, 
Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W a t c h e d. Exercise. Exercised. E x e r c i s e d. Study. Studied. S t u d i e d. Stay. Stayed. S t a y e d. Shop. Shopped. S h o p p e d. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right-hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula: subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include. The verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then, we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula: subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense. Study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense. Watch. Finally, we will add the complement. A movie.
Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Uh, teacher. Yes. Eh, tengo una duda. Eh, cuando empiezan a, a, a pronunciar ahí las palabras, oigo que en la grabación dicen didn't. Uh -huh. Y él dice didn't. Uh -huh. Yeah, because that's sometimes has to do with the, um, uh, how can I tell you, the way that people speak. It's like, for example, you will hear people say mountain and other people say mountain. Bill Clinton, ok. Son, a veces depende de la región, así son los sonidos, pero por lo general es didn't, right? No suena como didn't, es didn't, right? No, no lleves a e. A veces aquí porque suena está más fuerte. Uh -huh. They didn't. Yes. Ok. Now, questions about the structure? Any questions? How to make affirmative and negative sentences? Right here. Mm -hmm. Then if you have no questions, tell me sentences. Give me some examples with the word exercise, uh, watch, any other verb that you have. Negative. Volunteers. Don't be shy. Teacher, puedes subirlo un poquito. Okay. But can you hear me now? Hello. Yes. Okay. Now, for example, what is a sentence could be? I prepared my dinner. I prepared my dinner. Okay, very good. That's one. The negative for this? I didn't, I didn't prepare. my dinner okay what else another one i buy a computer i past tense of buy buy bought bought uh -huh. i bought a computer yeah. uh -huh. when um, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Negative. I. I didn't. I didn't. Uh huh. I didn't buy. I keep some of buy, right? Okay. I didn't buy a computer yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Another one. I I cook it. I cook I cook a lunch. I cook lunch. When? Uh, uh, yesterday. Yesterday. 
para que practiquen más vocabulario, pongámosle last, 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 week. Uh, last week. Ok, perfecto. Ok, last week. Very good. Negative. I, did, I didn't. Uh -huh. Cook. Ok. Launch last week. Perfect. Excellent. Ok, last lunch last week. Entonces, aquí van viendo ustedes, right? You can see, for example, how we use in the affirmative sentence. Sorry. We use a past tense, prepared, bought, cooked. But in the negative, didn't prepare, buy, and cook. The verb is not in past tense. Okay, two more sentences. Two more, two more. I, I played soccer. Very good. The I last played, weekend. I played, I played soccer. soccer last weekend. Okay. Negative. I didn't play uh -huh. soccer last weekend. I didn't play soccer last. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué en esta última oración siempre puso el verbo en pasado? No, me quedo, ajá, pero está en rojo, me equivoqué. Last week ya lo voy a cambiar. We can't. It's just a finger. Some typo. Okay, last. Okay, falta la. Okay, there you go. So I played soccer last weekend. I didn't play soccer last week. Okay. One more. I fixed my car. Okay. Um, last month. Last, last Thursday. Very good. Last Thursday. Okay. It has to be with capital letter. Last. Thursday. Uh -huh. Negative. I didn't fix my car last Thursday. Didn't fix my car last Thursday. Okay. So you, there you have some examples with different verbs. Okay. And how to create an affirmative and a negative sentence, okay, in past tense. Okay, just, I traveled. then you I can, traveled. you can continue writing more sentences to practice, uh-huh. I travel, you said what? Uh, I travel with my husband to San Jose, Costa Rica. When? To next year. Last year, in past tense. Ah, oh, okay, yes. Uh -huh. Ah, I, last year. Excuse yes, me. same past. Ah, uh -huh. oh, okay. I, I traveled to San Jose, with my husband to San Jose, Costa Rica last year. Okay. Last year, yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Now I'll show you one more thing to, out here in the chat we have. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway. People are rude, I hate it when people are rude. Very good. Thank you, Ceci. Okay, now we have, I'll show you one more sample material for this past tense. Okay, this is another one. Here. Remember that in, in past tense, when we use the simple past tense, regular verbs, eso es lo que nos han presentado ahorita, yo solo usé bot, ocupé uno irregular, porque también vamos a tener que verlo después, pero ahorita, we use regular verbs. ¿Cuáles son los regular verbs? Anybody knows? Alguien que sepa la diferencia entre regular e irregular? Please. En el regular, solo se le agrega al final que de. Uh -huh. Y en el regular eh, cambia. Cambia, ¿verdad? Ah, el verbo cambia. Uh -huh. 
Ok, exacto. Entonces, el regular, como la palabra le dice, hay ciertas regulaciones que nos ayudan a, a saber qué es, eh, cómo escribirlo, right? Hay algunos que se duplica la letra, que te, pero todos terminan básicamente con una ED. Eh, en los irregulares, pues básicamente se cambia toda la raíz de la, de la, del verbo. Por ejemplo, by y se escribe b u y y boat. b o u g h t Ok, es un, lleva como cuatro consonantes al final, o tres. Entonces, este sí, es un poquito más complicado. Ajá. Eh, no recuerdo cómo, cómo se llaman los que son iguales en las tres formas. Ah, son irregulares. Lo que pasa es que, ajá, esos son los, por ejemplo, los, los verbos irregulares. Son de la, por ejemplo, eh, pero por lo general es, quiero ver si hay unos que otros. Hit, por ejemplo. Hit, hit, hit. De golpear. Hit en presente, hit en pasado y el hit en past participle. Pero todos son verbos irregulares. Ese está en el grupo de los irregulares. Yes. Ok, then, ahora, what, lo que les iba a explicar acá es que acá tenemos eh, the verb and the subject. In present, in present we use eh, I work, right? Here we say I work. Okay, and then we say, you work, and he, he what? Hello? Yes, yes. He work. In pasado, in pasado, work. In, in present? Uh, work, 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 work. work. And in present? Work. He work. 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 Right? Uh, she? Uh, she works. Works. Okay. Then we have uh, it. It works. Ajá. Cuando compramos un, cuando reparamos algo en la casa, ¿verdad? entonces la refrigeradora está arruinada y la arreglamos y decimos, hey, it works. Funciona. Right? And then we have uh, we work. Okay, and then we have what else? You work. Mm -hmm. You, plural. You work and they. They work. work. Okay. If you see here, we have I work, you work, he works, she works, it works, we work. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? And how many forms? Two. Two forms. Uh huh. Two forms. Okay, we have only work. And then we have, okay, I work. I okay. it. Okay. Okay. Eh, apaguen los micrófonos para que no haya mucho, mucho ruido. Please. Thank you. But you have two forms, right? Work and works. Present. Okay. And in past? We use what? Work it. Work. 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 Para todos, right? I worked. You worked. He worked. She worked. It worked. We worked. You worked. They worked. So this is in past tense para todos los verbos, right? In past tense, excepto el verbo to be, que eso es otro, otra historia que la vamos a ver por separado, right? So we have this one, is worked, I worked, you worked. Okay? Okay. No problem in this moment? Okay. 
Si ven ustedes, por ejemplo, en español usaríamos casi unas 10, 12 palabras para hablar en presente y pasado. Diríamos trabajo, trabajas, él trabaja, ella trabaja, esto funciona o esto trabaja, trabajamos. Eh, tú, ellos, eh, ustedes trabajan, ellos trabajan, son como cinco o seis formas. En el pasado sería igual, son doce. En inglés, you only need three. Work, works, and work. Por eso es que siempre se utiliza el sujeto. Para saber que estamos, de quién estamos hablando. Right? En español, si yo digo trabajo en las mañanas, ¿a quién me refiero? A usted. Ajá, es lo right. Uh -huh. Se entiende. No hay necesidad de decir yo trabajo en las mañanas. Uh -huh. Pero si yo digo en inglés, eh, work, eh, work in the mornings. ¿A quién me refiero? Podría ser I, I. podría ser you, podría ser we, podría ser ustedes, you, o podría ser they. Ok. Entonces, es más confuso, por eso que siempre dice, I work in the mornings. You, you, Luis Canales, work in the morning. We, the group, we work in the morning. Eh, well, I don't work in the morning. You work in the morning. Ustedes, right? And or they, a group, they work in the morning. Okay, so then we have in the other one, the use the simple past tense. To talk about things that are now finished. Okay, esta oración no la vean acá, no te vamos a poner otra. Por ejemplo, I, que solo vamos a ver después. Watched a movie last eh, Friday. Estás Friday night. Okay. This action happened, it started and finished, started and finished in the past. Este es Friday night, esta X. I watched a movie last Friday night. Now, no estoy diciendo eso, estoy haciendo otra cosa, right? And in the future, I don't know in this moment. Okay? So, when do we use the past tense para hablar de cosas que hicimos en el pasado? Right? Se comenzaron y se acabaron. For example, I, eh, I studied English many years ago. I studied English 30 years ago. Okay? Eh, what else? Díganme una oración ustedes de algo que hicieron en el pasado. Por ejemplo, acá, I lived. I lived in Ciudad Delgado, eh, oh, like 35 years ago. I, I played soccer one year ago. I played soccer one year ago, okay. It could be something mm -hmm. long time ago, o puede ser algo reciente. O sea, hace un minuto ya es un pasado reciente, okay. Okay. For example, you can say, I, I explained. I explained the sub. Uh, I explained the the form of the verb two minutes ago. Lo expliqué hace dos minutos, right? Este hasta en el pasado reciente, okay? Como puede ser hace mil años, okay? Okay. You can say, for example, Jesus Christ came two thousand and twenty years ago. Yes. So Cristo vino hace dos mil veinte años, right? You can say something like that, right? So it can be past, it can be now. The dinosaurs. Dinosaurs existed. Dinosaurs existed a million of years ago. Million of years ago. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now, tell me sentences in the past. I cleaned. Uh -huh. I cleaned. I cleaned my my house in the morning. Okay. Very good. Exactly. That's correct. I cleaned my house in the morning. All right. What else? 
Aquí pueden ver otros. Join, me uní, play, study, hop, salté. Estos son irregulares, ahorita no los vamos a usar. When I use them uh, later. What else? Other actions. Verbs that you know. Verbos que ya conozcan. I copied in my last one exam. I cheated. <laughs> okay, I cheated in my last exam. Okay, it's a trampa, copie. I cheated in my last exam. Uh -huh. In what university? What class? Ah. <laughs> no, just kidding. What else? I see it in my last exam. Por ejemplo. Teacher, y si digamos quiero decir que yo hice las compras el día de ayer o en la mañana. I to the supermarket or the market. I went. Supermarket. Ah, este, este verbo es irregular, pero no importa. Vamos okay. a practicar, lo vamos a practicar. I went to the supermarket. O oh, I went shopping. No, pero es que shopping es más general, right? I went to the... Pero si fue de compras, I went shopping. Ya lo ponen los dos. I went to the supermarket. Okay. Yesterday. Este es más específico for food, right? Pero si fue de compras, I went shopping yesterday. Okay, I went shopping. Or I went shopping to the supermarket yesterday. Si lo quiero ver. Okay. What else? Pueden hacer, yes, pueden hacer afirmati afirmativas o negativas. Uh -huh. Ok. La última oración, este no está en presente continuo, shopping. No. No. Eh, no. Eh, I am shopping. O sea, shopping. Ok, esto sería algo como un, como un eh, eh, presente continuo, pero esto que usted ve acá. El auxilio. Esto de acá se llama. Ups, gerund. El ING en todos los verbos se llama gerund. Y solo va a ser eh, presente, eh, continuo cuando va acompañado del verbo to be. Ah, okay. So, I was eh, shopping. Pasaba, right? Sí, sí. Ajá. Comprando. Yes, okay. Ok. Si okay. va el verbo to be, okay. es eso, okay. Eh, okay. Y esto, y esto sucede, y es una, una muy buena pregunta, porque muchas veces van a haber verbos que van seguidos de ING. Esa es otra... No es una regla, pero sí hay una lista de verbos. Ajá. Por ejemplo, cuando uno dice, I enjoy playing. I enjoy playing. I enjoyed. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Enjoy playing eh, chess. Eh, no, 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 because chess is it's too boring. I enjoy playing uh, uno. Okay, with you last night. HT. Okay, enjoy es otro verbo parecido al went, que después de este verbo van seguidos de ING. Okay, Los, las oraciones. Okay. okay, gracias. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, what else? More verbs, more actions, more... Que de cuando... Ajá. I cook for dinner this afternoon. I cook. Ok, ajá. I cooked 
dinner this afternoon. Okay. One more. I showed my car at Saturday. I wash. So, no, I sold. I vendí. Ah, I, I sold. Uh -huh. I sold. I okay. sold my car. My car. Last Saturday. Um, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Oh, my car last Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Is it true? You're a good sell, uh, sell, saleswoman. Okay, negative. I I didn't. Okay, very good. I didn't cheat. 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 Aquí cheat. desaparece el I last exam. Ajá, uh -huh, in mm -hmm. my last I, yeah. exam. exam. Okay, if you see. Aquí desaparecemos el PD. Porque agregamos el didn't, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. I, I didn't go. Aha, uh -huh. okay, very to good. The supermarket yesterday. I didn't go to the supermarket yesterday. All right. See again? That is the difference, right? Go. We have go and we don't have went. All right. The next one. I went shopping. I didn't. I didn't go shopping yesterday. I didn't go shopping yesterday. Uh huh. Just saying. I didn't go shopping. Shopping yesterday. Correct, right? The same thing. I didn't go shopping yesterday. And the next one? I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I, I didn't enjoy playing. Pero ahí es uno por ser nombre del juego. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Yes, that's the name of the game. Uh -huh. I, yes, then you say, I, they didn't enjoy playing. So go, enjoy playing, and then you change it. Okay. I, I didn't cook. I didn't cook. Mm -hmm. I didn't cook. Dinner this afternoon. Then, oh, sorry. Okay, then go. Oh. And the last one? I sell. I, negative? I didn't sell. I didn't sell. That's correct. There you go. Okay, so this is what you have to master. Esto lo debemos de, así como de dominar bien, right? To master. You need to master the affirmative sentences. In past tense, affirmative. Negative sentences, we use the auxiliary did, didn't, and the verb, se usa in the form, in the base form, in la, in la forma básica, right? Change, didn't, went, go, went, go, enjoyed, enjoy, cooked, cook, sold, sell. Any questions in this moment? No questions so far? No questions. Okay. No then a please teacher went in shopping. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. 
Mr. Nelson, teacher, cuando the verb was correct. Por eso que uno va, eh, cuando, eh, you can use, for example, I went dancing, fui a bailar, yeah, the two verbs. Okay, but the thing is that after went, you can use the verb, no, I went to dance, I went dancing. I saw my co-worker five months ago. Uh -huh, yes, I see. That's correct. Okay. Very good. Well, tomorrow, uh, do the, uh, the knowledge check in the 4.4, .4, I guess, in the, in the section four. And tomorrow we're going to check it together. And we will see the pronunciation of the verbs in past tense, regular verbs, okay, in questions. So tomorrow we're gonna have a practice in groups. Okay, everyone? Okay, teacher. Have a very okay. good night. And I will night, see teacher. you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.